so we have a 25 year old man he visit his general practitioner complaining of resting tremor in one hand and has become progressively more noticeable over the last few months he found getting dressed in the morning to be particularly difficult due to lack of coordination and he feel tired all the time and admit he feeling depressed and lonely he has not worked since leaving college and live with his parents young boy 25 year man not working for last so many years patient has expressionless face with the paucity of blinking a fine resting tremor of the left hand is noticed examination of the patient wrist shows rigidity of the movement and flexion of extension mental examination shows some slowing of higher mental function observing the patient walking uh, shows the left hand not swing to, to full and left foot mildly scraping the floor well what the differential diagnosis if we look into the question we are getting a 25 year old gentleman who has many features mimicking like parkinson expressionless face no movement in the arm on uh, walking no swing decreased blinking rigidity tremors etc are all the feature of parkinson like feature but but is it possible to add at this age no way idiopathic parkinson is idiopathic parkinson is a disease of the elderly person to no way it can occur at the age of 25 years that means there something else is there so if you look into the option which is the best answer no doubt wilson disease why let's learn the basic concept wilson disease is a neurodegenerative di disease of the copper metabolism typically present in childhood or adolescence and rarely present after third decade our patient is a 25 year okay the clinical manifestations are hepatic that means some liver problem will be there neurological or psychiatric what together we call as neuropsychiatric features at time they say hepatic or neuropsychiatric two broad headline in fact there are three one two and three patient who present with fulminant liver failure has a mortality of as i as 70 percent now let me tell you patient can come as a acute hepatitis or it can come as a chronic hepatitis or even it can cause come as a fulminant liver failure all these manifestation can be there and of course Uh, in the patient come with a fulminant that mortality is as high as 70% liver disease is the most common initial manifestation in children and older children they come with neuropsychiatric feature that's why i told you in the previous slide that at time they are broadly classified into hepatic and neuropsychiatric now i told you about what can uh, what can happen in the liver now what are the serious feature it can have parkinson like feature like in our patient they have parkinson like features it may have other forms of movement disorder there can be dystonias particular other face what we call as rictus the word we use is a type of grimacing type of movement is so called rictus there can be some eye movement problem also psychiatric changes include emotional liabilities personality changes or depression can occur in this patient in addition patient should be so this young man should be excluded any young patient coming with movement disorders should be investigated for wilson disease what are the investigation you like to do liver biochemistry okay serum seroplasmic level Twenty-four hour urinary copper excretion, slit lamp exam of the eye can give you KF ring. 
look into this this is a, typically we are getting deposition of copper in the upper and lower this that ring kf ring we are getting i can now you can see better look into much better visibility is there kf ring okay well let's look into other option erythema induratum also known as basin disease is an inflammatory disorder of the subcutaneous fat tissue and this can occur in variety of condition like tuberculosis it can it in autoimmune condition inflammatory bowel disease certain hematological condition it can happen but this patient presentation doesn't fit into this category this classical erythema induratum well then we have option b epidemic pleurodynia but before i go to the description what is pleurodynia write down the answer in your copy well epidemic pleurodynia is a infection caused by some of the several viruses coxsackie b virus is the most common to cause this this type of infection causes similar type of pain as the pain that come from the pleura it's a type of pleural uh, pleura type of pain is there but in fact it is the pain come from the muscles not from the pleura to so, pain mimic like pleural pain okay well pleural pain has associated uh, pleural rub is there in but in this case there will not be no rub now the other name of this disease is bornholm disease as i told you the coxsacky b virus the most common cause patient has pain fever headache myalgia and in our case this doesn't fit into this category mental disease is a acquired gastrointestinal condition most frequently affect middle aged men symptom include epigastric pain fatigue anorexia weight loss it doesn't fit into our presentation now again i have a question for you it lead to what type of gastropathy write down the answer answer is it lead to type of protein losing hypertrophic gastropathy let me tell you the basic concept this is the stomach this is the lining of stomach normal lining is there okay now in this patient what happen in this patient what happen the lining because has got lots of folds lots of folds are there so this is so called hypertrophic gastropathy look the smooth it has come into various folds like this i can show you the picture also lovely picture you just see like this not a lining of the cut section of the stomach but you can see there are so many folds are there oh yeah just see so many uh, this projections are there okay so this is not the answer then we talk about whipple disease it's a infectious disease called by tophirima will apply it can also give rise to neurological symptom in around 10 to 40% cases isolated neurological feature are uncommon like in our patient mainly it's patient who came to us with neurological feature although his age is 25 years okay and as i mentioned in the description also in children is made of main of a hepatic presentation and in the older people like in our patient 25 year it was more of a psychiatric manifestation or parkinson like feature neuropsychiatric well here we can have some uh, neurological problem but only isolated finding is not common because this usually come with diarrhea of course there are many other feature also cognitive impairment is the most common neurological manifestation well something unique about this thing oculo mastery myorhythma or so called oculo facial skeletal myorhythmica are considered pathognomonic of this condition well again i have a question for you what do you mean by this write down the answer what are these which are pathognomonic feature well the answer is 
आंसर इज दे आर वटली पैथोनोमिक कंडीशन रिदमिक मूवमेंट ऑफ ऑफ मस्की का मस्केट्री मस्टिकेटरी एन एन आई ऑल्सो ऑकुलर वेल अदर स्कल्टर मसल डिसंक्रनाइज विद पेंडुलर निस्टेगमस इज ऑलवेज अपनेड बाई सुपरा न्यूक्लियर गेज पॉलिसी समथिंग यूनिक एंड मैनी पेशेंट मे नॉट हैव आई ऑसिलेशन बट समथिंग फेशियल मूवमेंट सुपरा न्यूक्लियर गेज पॉलिसी आर द क्लासिकल फीचर दैट वी सी इन वेपल डिसीज वेल आवर पेशेंट हैज डॉल्ट विद डिफरेंट टाइप ऑफ मैनिफेस्टेशन ट्रेम एंड रेजिडिटी आर सीन दिस मूवमेंट आर नॉट का देयर इन आवर पेशेंट गोल्डन लाइन टू मेम्बर पार्किसन लाइक फीचर इन ए यंग और चाइल्ड और यंग एज यू शुड ऑलवेज थिंक एंड इन्वेस्टिगेट इन टर्म फॉर विल्सन डिजीज वेल आई होप यू लाइक द सेशन जस्ट टू इन्फॉर्म यू वी हैव फॉलोइंग कोर्सेज फॉर यू स्मार्ट मेडिसिन देर आर थ्री हंड्रेड एंड फिफ्टी आवर्स ऑफ प्री रिकॉर्डेड वीडियो लेक्चर ऑफ होल इंटरनल मेडिसिन it includes all super specialty and allied subject covering a to z including basic concept about every topic second we have test and discussion there are more than 1000 question which with discussion of the questions sample question and discussion you saw in this session now third thing is medicine simplified which is a textbook of medicine Harrison is the ultimate book to read medicine but it is too vast reading one page of harrison you need half an hour to understand you need 2 hours but you need only 2 minute to forget what was written in that page then what is the solution we have medicine simplified it's a textbook of medicine but so called mini harrison it's a summary of what you need to read from harrison the book is available in amazon also now these three things are more than enough for your md dnb medicine and family medicine final exam preparation need ss exam preparation you don't need to read any other book these three are complete in all the aspect for more detail you can contact at this number it's a mobile at as well as whatsapp and this is my personal email id anybody want to reach to me you can contact me at this email id thank you very much